Okay, let's go under the hood here. This function right here is basically a function that allows you to check if something is an array. Is an array, takes a collection, and then will return you a true, true or false version of like, hey, that thing is an array. However, the thing we want to do here is actually to go under the hood. What is happening inside the function array is array? Do you know that? Do you know what happened there? So as part of what we do on the James platform is actually to help people understand this kind of mechanism. It's not about learning how to program. It's about learning how to dig deeper because that's what makes you a better software engineer, right? So let's see what's behind is array. So JavaScript actually has a mechanism to know if something is an array, right? We go into uh, uh, try a few here. The first thing here is basically if I create, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use object dot prototype. If you if you never used the object dot prototype before, this is something you can learn on the platform. But however, that is something fundamental. You need to study that. You need to understand what a prototype does. Everything in JavaScript is an object. How could you prove that? How could you prove that some everything is an object? Easy. Let's take anything. I'm gonna set a string here, and then we're gonna call this. And I'm gonna put that inside the uh, some form of result here. So if I look into that, you see it says object no. That's an object. If we turn that to 12, 12 is a number, but you see it says object number well if we put a string here it says object string everything is an object let me put a simple uh, 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 function we're going to say function uh, hello and then we're just gonna do that this way we're going to see that uh, let me put it this way and we see that it says object function right so everything is basically a function when when we say we're looking for something that is an array we can basically pass right here we can pass something like this and you see it says object array i'll let you guess how you will then write array is array knowing that information the key thing to understand there is call how do you use the call function here to actually um, uh, call another function and force the this keyword to become um, whatever you pass here in the argument this video is too short for me to explain that concept but here is the thing we can then replace um, we can then replace this code with something that says uh, const res is equal object uh, dot prototype and we're gonna pass the collection uh, right there and what we want to return is is res dot includes oh, i'm just gonna put it this way and you see you get exactly the same result we can get rid of this and that basically it question just go on the james platform there are a lot of exercises like that that will allow you to just be a better software engineer cheers